Hello, I'm Renee Kaz and I'm here with Tanil Bentley and we are chatting all things business and I'm just wanting to know Tanil, so as um, businesses are growing and for a lot of entrepreneurs then they are reach the position of hiring people and the challenge of finding the right person and I, you often hear a lot of successful business owners saying you don't want to hire someone who's exactly like you, yet yeah, that's kind of what you want, that's what you're drawn to, you think, oh, I want someone who's just like they're me, awesome. really dynamic <laughs> and they're really, they can do everything. So, and obviously you've, you've had over 150 staff yourself yeah. and had to hire and fire a lot of people yourself. So mm. what would be some of your advice around how to hire the best person to support your business? Yeah, I think the first element is looking at self. So it's going and really doing a self analysis, a SWOT analysis, if you like, on self. What am I good at? What am I not good at? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? And then almost methodically going through what does the company need? Because the organization that you create is in, is in its own essence a being. It's a it's another living creation that that is. I treat like a relationship, like a person, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like, okay, so what does this person need and what is the skill set that we need for this company and what is in the best interest for the company and not in the best interest for me? Yeah. And that's the, tr the problem as entrepreneurs we have is we get so caught up because there is, it's, rightfully so, it's our baby, we've created it, it's our creation. But in anything, it's like you become, it's like when you, in, in the early phases of business, you are, you are the manager of your business, right? In the later phases, you become merely a facilitator, mm -hmm. a coordinator. You don't. It's a little bit like you know, as when you have kids, you're the manager of the child, and you have to make sure that they stay alive, yeah. <laughs> feed, well, yeah. feed them, feed them, make them, let them sleep, eat, all that kind of stuff. Same thing with your business. In the first few years, you're going to need to have sleepless nights and make sure that it's fed and make sure that it's working. But then it reaches a point where you've got to cut the apron strings. Yeah. And that's where you go, okay, well, what, do, what is in the best interest mm. of this being, this business? Mm -hmm. And how can I facilitate that? And then you look at this. So after doing your sort of analysis of self and what, what the business needs, you methodically go through, well, what are the skills that this needs in order to you know, make this thing fly? And if you're limited by funds, as most entrepreneurs who are starting out are, mm -hmm. It's triaging that. So starting to go, well, what's the most important thing that is also going to equate to bringing in dollars so then I can keep the business sustainable? And that might be sales, it might be a BDM okay. person, it might be, so working out who that person in that skill set is, and then you hone in on that and you look at the particular skills that's needed for that. Now, I have, in all the hiring that I've done, I've, I generally put the resume to one side. Okay. I don't look at, I, it's, a, it's a bit of a guidance, but it's not, it's not them. Mm. Anyone can make a resume look good, yeah. <laughs> right? So it's meeting with them. It's having a discussion mm. that actually has nothing to do with your business. Yeah. It's having a discussion with them about them as a human being. What do you like? What do you do? Where do you travel? What do you mm -hmm. eat? Where do you, you know, all that kind of stuff, like getting to know them as a person. Because okay. you're going to find out so much more about the character of that person mm -hmm. based on their family values, their value system, where they go, what they like to do more than you would out of a resume yes it's still good to have that as a guidance but mm. i would suggest sitting down a cup of coffee two three times even and just having a good old chat as mm -hmm. you know and getting to know them first and then feeling into that yeah and then you know that they, they also tick the boxes of the skills that you need mm -hmm. which you know are the skills that you don't have the time or you may not need to do and then you tick those boxes and, mm -hmm. and then there's also some great little profiling tools you can do as well that you can just, you know, as a backup to get an understanding of what yep. their core driver and motivator is. Okay, so starting off really with a SWOT analysis to see what the needs are within your business to make sure you're hiring the right person. Yeah, and then and analyse yourself as well, big time. Okay. Yeah. And then also within that, then finding within the role how, because it's obviously going to cost money, mm -hmm. how they can then be doing income generating activities as well. Yeah. And then really getting to know them as a person before hiring them. So you can see, are mm -hmm. our values aligned? Is this yeah. someone who I would want to be part of my brand and part of my business? Exactly, because it is your brand. They're representing your brand. But at the end of the day, it's got to be people first, product second, profit last. That's the order in which the way of what I deem to be the conscious business leader and the way that business is going. It's people first. You've got to invest in your people first. Yeah. 
and you've got to make the time. It's, it's a relationship, it's a whole nother relationship. They become your corporate partner, <laughs> you know, like your corporate wife or your corporate husband or whatever, you know, it's a relationship. And so you've got to work at that. Relationships are going to be a bit tumultuous yeah. sometimes. There's going to be challenges. You're going to set boundaries. It's exactly the same. It's just having that dynamic and knowing that um, when you're in, interacting. It's not, a, I, I've never looked at it like I'm the boss and you're the employee kind of mentality. Yeah. It's more about how are we equally bringing something to the table yeah. and how can we create a beautiful relationship beautiful I love that yeah. people product then profit and yeah. that's the <laughs> conscious business model for the conscious business leaders of today beautiful yeah. <laughs> thank you so much Tanil. No always fabulous chatting with you